right, we're checking out the only game where you can use a light speed hurricane made of acid in order to protect the planet like some kind of Dungeons and Dragons spell. It's Universe Sandbox. I want to let you know when I zoomed in here, I didn't intend to like pause it with Florida exactly <laughs> on the screen. But this is, this is very fitting because today is all about hurricanes and how they've been messing everything up. But what if we could harness the power of the hurricane in order to protect the planet? I've attempted to do something similar before, but I think I know where I went wrong. If we head over to material composition, we can check out the different layers that make up the planet and see that one of them is the atmosphere. See, the problem was I had a hurricane made of just, you know, normal stuff, argon, oxygen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, that's not going to do anything to, you know, a gigantic meteorite bullet coming for us all. But what if it was made out of, oh, I don't know, sulfur dioxide? Like if I get rid of oxygen and I make it all sulfur dioxide, doesn't that basically make everything sulfuric acid? I had to look it up on Google. You know how long it's been since I took a chemistry class? I'm not qualified to talk about chemistry. However, I can type into Google, does sulfur dioxide make sulfuric acid? Yes. Sulfur dioxide can form sulfuric acid when it comes into contact with water and oxygen in the atmosphere. I control the planet. I have plenty of that. It's also the key component of acid rain. Acid rain hurricanes, great. Honestly though, I'm not a chemist. Although I guess most chemists don't have the entire planet to utilize as a playground for stupidity like in reality. If anyone in the comment section knows legitimately whether or not this would work, feel free to let us all know. I'm just doing my 10 seconds of Google searching, which could be lying to me as it is. Thanks generative AI. Now, as always, we need a baseline, of course, of damage. In order to obtain a baseline, I have to pull out one of my many weapons here. A radius of 198 kilometers. You will do. Go ahead and launch this at Florida, hitchhike along on the back of it. And this way we kind of get an understanding of what the damage looks like when it hits, when there's no atmosphere protecting the planet made of sulfuric acid. Also, totally missed Florida, forgot about the rotation of the earth. What can you do? Sorry, middle of the United States. It is very colorful. It's a very, it's a very spectacular explosion. I probably could have chose something smaller to hit the planet with because the little particulates have begun exploding all around the planet and murdering everyone. You can see no one has to worry about their lawn anymore because there's no more grass. It all got vaporized. We're talking like all the way down into Mexico. Now the ocean begins to heat up and vaporize, obviously. That's unfortunate. On the plus side, you're gonna get all your clothes steam cleaned very quickly. What's going on in the back of the of the planet? What's, what's happening back here? I didn't hit back here. Why is why is everyone bleeding? In case you're wondering, the the gas fragment that was shot off of the earth is 2345 degrees Celsius in temperature. All right, so before we set up our uh, sulfur clouds, I need to get everything moving along here. Get all the clouds here moving at, uh, well, we won't go light speed quite yet. Kilometers per second, 100. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow, I'm not gonna lie, I like that. It does literally look like a gigantic hurricane that's covering basically every continent. It's just stretching across the entire planet. I can't really call that an eye. It's more of a, like a gaping cavern of a hole. Work in progress, replace materials. Wait a minute. Can you choose, oh my God. Replace oxygen with sulfur dioxide. Okay. If I do this, everyone's gonna die immediately, right? Oh, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad at all. It just kind of gave the, the planet a tan, if you notice. Not that big of a deal. Everyone is okay. Life likelihood. I went up a percent, a tenth of a percent. Look at that. I helped people by replacing oxygen with sulfur dioxide. Is there a hurricane the size, you know, like the entire size of the face of the earth? Yes. Now we obviously also have to modify the atmospheric density. So yeah, how, how much, how much sulfuric dioxide is this? Yeah, bring it up by 10. <coughs> oh boy. Now, fortunately, I think I can hide. There we go. Y'all still alive? Nope. 50% of the planet is burning alive. We're going to have to get some stats up over here just to see what doing this 
actually does to the surface of the earth because I'm honestly not sure. Honestly, everything kind of looks okay. I mean, the temperature's going down. The liquid depth is going up. The atmosphere does indeed keep rising. You know what we need? I think we need more atmosphere. That's the problem. Yeah, let's let's keep, let's do another 10. You know what, let's do, let's do another 100. Another 1,000. There we go. I think that we need just most of the earth made of sulfur dioxide. Perfect. What does it look like now, the earth? It's like a sad, broken down Jupiter with no fun. Plenty of hurricanes though. I love that somehow life finds a way. I, almost everyone is dead, but like there's still zero, 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 four percent of people left. So I'm protecting, I'm protecting someone by making the entire environment into like a sulfuric acid hurricane. Now we do need water as well. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just turn all the iron of earth into sulfur dioxide as well. And all the silicate. Oh, the earth just got a lot smaller. Don't ask me how, but now there's a higher life likelihood. Just gonna keep adding more of this just to see what happens. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let, let's, let's do this. There we are. That is fantastic. I love that now it's uh, ice caps of blood. That is what we have made at this point. Oh God. I now have a legitimate Jupiter at this point. Fortunately, the average temperature is uh, 440 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna go ahead and save this real quick because this is gonna kind of be our starting point to understand how much it can reflect the damage. It's like, great, don't you dare save me. I don't wanna go through this again. Shut up and go inside the folder. All right, so if we go back over here, we go to our launches, we go ahead and launch. I think I vastly underestimated just now how fast I was launching that uh, because it happened and the planet wasn't super happy about it. Uh, you can see that one part of the planet is sunburned. We'll go into it again so you can have a better understanding of the- Oh my god, what is it doing as it closes in? Is this like the, uh, is this like the atmosphere making it blow apart before it actually touches down? I do like that. I, I do appreciate that potentially the atmosphere is starting to pull its own weight. Wait, that's nice. Now this may look like a gas giant, but you're gonna see that the moment that this touches down, there is in fact an explosion. And the explosion is kind of awesome because all of the particles fly out, the giant wave of death grows, and it's pretty big. So this atmosphere is still not good enough to completely t protect the planet. All right, yeah, let's let's replace all this again. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get there. And then replace all of the nitrogen with water. Perfect. They may be saying to yourself, of gray. You just replace nitrogen with water. How come it looks like everything's totally barren? Yeah, if I pull back the cloud cover, it's not any better. Now, I have decided to start moving the clouds at ridiculous speeds. So we're at that many light speed right now. Now you'll notice that unfortunately the average temperature of the earth has dropped down to negative 33 degrees Celsius. So basically the planet is just one giant Canada. I love how there's a higher life likelihood with this. Oh, there is some water left, like some liquid water right over here. All right, sulfur dioxide. Yeah, let's do a lot of it. There we go. And crank up the water as well. What is going on with this planet? I mean, I know I'm the one messing with it, but let's just get way more sulfur dioxide. Okay, the planet is pulsating. Anytime I start messing with the atmosphere and it begins to have like a sweet rave party, what is going on? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the planet actually looks amazing. It looks a lot like the red, white, and blue freezy pop that you get, you know, like the pop from uh, like the 4th of July that you eat in the summer. I love that there's still hurricanes. They're just a lot bigger now because the size of the earth is like way larger than it was before. Most of the earth is just also encased in blood. I wanna show you something because it's awesome. If you take the clouds away, this is what the earth looks like. It's made, I basically caused the earth to be made out of carbon fiber. Like, this is the weirdest thing. You take that away, this is the color spectrum that the Earth is now. The life likelihood for the Earth right now is this number. What has happened? Is this supposed to be like some sort of crazy, like, error reduction where the life likelihood is so impossible that it's trying to tell me that I've, I've ruined the life of everything around me? I'm pretty sure the rest of the solar system still exists. I can see Saturn over there. Yeah, it's fine. Everyone's fine. The core temperature is uh, 1.5 million degrees Celsius though. Didn't know that was possible. Oh my God. Oh, what is happening? Okay, just, just cool down. Everything's gonna be okay. Sorry, the planet decided to get up to like a million degrees just then. We're, we're getting back to normal now. God, there is so much weirdness that goes on with this planet the more I mess with it. I love that now it's just a flaming ball of lava. Okay, I think I've got the planet acting appropriately again. When I say acting appropriately, 
I mean, for some reason, a couple of different continents are now blooded. Uh, you know, like Africa over here. Pretty much all the continents. Pretty much all the continents are, are looking like this now. It's very strange. But now, with sulfuric acid storms moving hundreds of thousands times the speed of light, will it be able to protect us from an asteroid? I'm going to call this Category Sadness Mark II. By the way, I started messing with the planet a little bit more. This happened. Uh, no idea. No clue. Started messing with the silicate. Now the, now the entire planet was just bifurcated by something. I have no idea what this is. I feel like I'm breaking this game way more than it was meant to be broken. In case you're wondering, if you're in the middle of the hurricane, it's currently uh, 90 degrees Celsius. Well, that's fine, Gray, but how deep are your oceans? Uh, 100 and, I'm sorry, 1.4 million meters deep. Okay. All right, I hope you're ready for this. Launch it, set it up, slow this down. I, I'm i I'm moving at like 0.1 second a second. I love how the cloud cover of the planet is just moving like, it's so ridiculous. It's just kind of like spazzing now. I need to speed this up a little bit so that we can eventually get there. Oh, I have no idea what that is. That again is just the, uh, the carbon fiber of the planet showing, I guess, I'm not really sure. Uh-huh, oh. Okay. Yeah, see, this is kind of what I expected. It's, uh, it's starting to get pretty crazy. It's starting to pull apart real bad. I actually had to slow this, like, way down so that we could see exactly what's going on. So it's getting close, getting close. Okay. And there's the hit. I have no idea what is going on with the planet. The planet has a mustache now. The planet looks unbelievably evil. The planet looks like a character from Bendy and the Ink Machine. I have no idea what happened here. However, it still impacted the planet. So this means I'm going to have to mess with the atmosphere even more. Okay, I've gotta, I've gotta mess with all of these elements perfectly so that I give it a ton of mass, but I don't turn it into some sort of weird gas giant. Now you may notice that at this point we have like freezing sulfur acid hurricanes around the planet that that is where i am at right now i love how despite all this it still says that something could live there i mean honestly the temperature isn't that bad it's 23 degrees celsius at its hottest point i think i know the problem we need to make the cloud speed go up the cloud speed is now moving so fast that the, it doesn't look like they're moving they're just stopped Perfect. Okay, this has got to do it. Set it up. Here we go. Now, from this distance, category sadness does look like a gas giant, but it's okay. Just kind of do that to it. There we are. I like how I originally had like a different trajectory for this thing, and like it made a hard turn because of the sheer gravity. All right, let's let's get nice and perfect here. Oh yeah, there we go. This is gonna be perfect. I'm trying to see. I want the planet to look like it is, and then I want to be able to get like. Oh! I was gonna say, I want to be able to get behind the thing that's being shot in so that I can keep the planet looking like this and not like the weird gas giant that it was. Hold on! Got to, uh, slow things down here. <laughs> Did it just- it just exploded, like, extravagantly before it hit the planet. Like, it went crazy. There's the particles blowing out. I think we finally did it. I think that by creating, like, a 7 billion light speed sulfuric acid hurricane, we have protected the planet. The temperature of this stuff that blew up around the planet is 5700 degrees celsius look at that it flies away and the planet is unscathed i mean i say unscathed Ooh. this is the percent of life likelihood that's on it right now i love how it's still 59.1 percent of the earth's similarity it has a permanent hurricane that never goes away but it did it it stopped the impact <laughs> Well, see that? I can stop anything coming to hit the Earth. I just have to kill everyone in order to do it. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.